Are you ready? Sure. So pitching started sure. now. Okay. Um, good morning, everybody. So before my pitching, I want to ask a question that have you ever heard about the Internet of Things? Please raise your hand. Great. So thanks a lot of this. And in front of you is the hardware part of the Internet of Things technology that's designed and made in Vietnam and they serve for our culture. So and briefly, Mimosa Tech is the company to apply the Internet of Things into our culture to transform the agriculture into the business and agriculture that able to help the farmer to increase their productivity while minimize the expense and the risk. And we do it by monitoring and analyzing data on farm in real time and give back the farmer the best advice for them to optimize the farm management. So our story become when we, when we run um, a farm in far away in 2012. In that time, for a long time, we realized that the farmer mostly pays on experience to operate their farm. And instead of knowing the, the crop demand, it's just based on experience. And in compile of, of, of increasing the, 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 the yield of a um, of farmer, and just only based on the experience, the farmer lost a lot of money, of mo their money, in the over-watering, over-fertilizing, and over pesticide usage. But the results in negative. In another hand, in the livestock farming of our country, which just based on experience, the farmer cannot control the environmental quality of their, of their livestock, of their fish, or their shrimp, because the, 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 the quality of the environment change may be minute. That means how it is a minute. So that the experience-based farming is not a way for the farmer to develop the farm in a sustainable way. And this is not the way for farmer to in the sustainable agriculture. And they let this little low yield, costly, and risk to the farmer. So that we think we, and we believe that if the farmer have another mechanism to know about the crop demand, they will have op an opportunity to change and to optimize their farm management. So by this meaning and this idea, we bring the internet of things into the farm with some, some device like this. We put the sensing node into the farm. They continuously collect data and send to our lab form. So there, the, the, in, the data will be transformed, will be analyzed and transformed into valuable information and give back advice to the farmer. So by in this way, we want to transform the experience-based farming into the, the information-driven farming. With the final goal is to, to increase the yield for farmer while reduce the expense and the risk of the farmer. So last year uh, of R&D with many pilot projects, we come up with our first solution called the precise irrigation management. So with this solution, we focus to optimize the water usage in the farm because water is the most basic and important factor for our agriculture. So um, based, on, uh, based on this solution, we want the farmer to precisely use the water of their farm. The use, the use, or the, uh, the use of the water is e equal to the crop demand of the, of the crop. So by this way, we not only to save the water usage to protect our water resource, we not only to, to, to help farmers to reduce energy use for irrigation system, but we also to help the farmer to have a healthier crop that may be returned with higher yield. And, with, and they, they able to, to have a higher yield with less fertilizer and less pesticides. So how we do it? So this is a sensing note. We brought it into the farm. They collect the rain information, they collect the wind speed information for the air temperature, air humidity. We collect the light incentive and the soil moisture. All of this information in real time sent to our platform. So in the platform, the precision irrigation algorithm will analyze the data under FAO standard. So we calculate the water loss of the crop. And in combination with the plant characteristic and the soil characteristic, the platform able to give the farmer advice how much water they need to apply every day and when to trigger the irrigation system. So everything happened on the smartphone of, of the farmer. 
so the farmer knows every day the, the amount of water they need to irrigate. And the soil moisture also informs the farmer when they need to irrigate. So by in this way, we we able to transform from the experience into the information calculated to the standard. So, but not, not, not even stop at analyzing and give advice. We also equip for the farmer ability to control the irrigation system remotely on the internet platform so that we, com we provide a complete solution for farmer to optimize the irrigation. And we have some mo very motivated number. We help farmer to save 30 to 50% of water. We help farmer to save about also 30 to 50 energy usage for irrigation system. And last Sunday uh, from Dala Organic, they also, the, the owner also tell us that the system they used for last two months helped them to increase the yield of tomato to 25%. This is great news. So in order to have the, the sustainable um, model go with a farmer, we choose the subscription-based model instead of one-off selling hardware. So that in this model, we reduce the cost of the hardware and provide with, with the farmer with the most suitable cost, and we focus on the, on the subscription fee element. Besides that, we do not sell directly to the farmer. We choose distributors who have many experience working with the farmer directly. And this is a key point for us to scale up, not only in Vietnam, but also in the region. So let's see what we did for last three months after launching the product from August. We now have 20 customers, nearly 20 customers in our platform. This is the real picture and the location of the, 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 the farmer in our system. And most important, we have side contract last week with two distributors. In this, the Canton is the key player because they are exclusive distributor of Netafim, the world leading of uh, drift in irrigation technology. So that by siding with Canton, we're able to touch a thousand of customers that equip with the drift line irrigation already. And they now need another layer to control, control the irrigation to optimize this. So what, is, what, what makes her different with other? We have the inside of Vietnamese agriculture. We are the first mover in the local and the regional market that apply Internet of Things to agriculture with a strong algorithm that compile the both FAO standard and soil characteristic for the precision irrigation. We are flexible and fast to fit the market due to strong team and due to the Internet of Things benefit. So we also have able to control the cost from the hardware to the service so that we're able to provide a service for even a small, small farm. And this is the core value. Our core value is our team. So we have many guys who have experience in, the, in, uh, in the information technology and for the, the, um, the business development as well. We also have brilliant advisor in our agriculture. So with strong team, strong technology base, and strong passion, we do not stop at just optimizing for the water. We armed for the fertilizer optimization, DZ optimization, and we also approach the urban farming market. Besides that, we also think that the aquaculture is very potential market. And we also had a prototype there with the Vic Oak, one of the biggest players of the stream farming in Vietnam. We are testing the derivative of the solution there and launch the market after that. So with our liberation, with our steam, with our passion, I think that we are armed to the market of the precise and agriculture, not only in Vietnam. And the market now is about 200, 200 million and grow rapidly year over the year. But moreover, deep inside my mind, I hope that with our solution, we can help the farmer become richer and they able to browse about their career. So thank you. Good job, congratulations. Good job. So now you have five minutes to answer a question from the judges, so please. Right. Yeah. So I invite uh, one of my co-founders here to, to answer the okay, question. Sure. Yeah. Team uh, member from Mimosa Tech, please welcome on stage. Yes, uh, okay, he's coming. So cool. just, just asking the question. Yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. And uh, I think it's a very smart move to, uh, to have a subscription model. Right. So that helps you lower the cost of... Uh, Adoption and also uh, prevent the competitors to cop from uh, copying your, your product. 
But what is the uh, ongoing service or content that justify the, uh, the monthly subscription? Yeah. Is it strong enough to keep uh, uh, people uh, paying subscription for you? Sure, uh, because uh, when working with some pilot customer, they really love for the, uh, the, the solution. So when we, we, uh, we, we work with them, we sign the contract of six months of subscription. And based on the reason to, to staff them, must, for example, electrical or the water, or to increase the productivity. So the subscription fee is suitable for them to be. What is the ongoing content? What is the ongoing that keep them paying every month? Um, uh, firstly, it's just um, um, we, we based on the irrigation to optimize the water usage. But, and you know that water they use every day in the, in the farming. But now we, we also had a plan to increase this, uh, more service on the existing platform. So therefore, the early warning for the disease of the plant based on the humidity or on the, the, the light, something like this. And we, we continue this to variable and to, to, to make a high quality for our service. Uh, and uh, to answer your question, I think that it is, is the return on investment that make them pay our service. So we, for example, we, we offer them a value package of $100 per month and we charge them $20 per month, and uh, the, the extra amount they receive is the $80 per month, that, that is bigger, much bigger than investment. Um, <clears throat> I'm curious, uh, I mean, I saw your qualifications. Uh, you, your team builds everything by yourself? Right. Or, or, and how do you prevent people from copying your, um, your machines? Is it no need to prevent the, the people to copy of this? Because our key value is our platform. So in the first time, uh, nobody do the Internet of Things hardware like this. So we had to, to make R&D on this. And this is just a media for us to collect the data. So if in another stage, if any competitor or any player who, who able to do the hardware better than us, this is a good news for us because we will provide them with the account we have on the platform. What about the users? Um, do you feel like the farmers have, maybe have a hard time using a mobile phone or a smartphone right. or technology even right. to help manage the farm? Uh, so um, we are not aiming to the mass market uh, up till now because we just focus on the 35% of the, of the, 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 the farmer who is the, the leader to, to provide the 35% of hold agriculture productivity in Vietnam. So they are also the, maybe the a uh, high technology um, farmer. When I, I meet them, every, every farmer had a Facebook account and they place Facebook on their smartphone. So it is very easy for us to, 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 to touch them. And because we also designed the, 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 the application just like the experience or the Facebook, so it's easier, easier for, for them to use. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. It's not all drop loss for Amibusa Tech. Thank you so much. Good job. Congratulations.